Um, this is the establishment telling us what the future is going to be. You know, now, of course, it's all wrong in, in all kinds of ways because he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, sturdy youths and maidens dancing at the crossroads. Well, this is a, this, I wrote about this over 20 years ago. I wrote a book called uh, The Intelligent Person's Guide to Modern Ireland. There's a chapter in there about, that comes from the 1943 St. Patrick's Day speech by De Valera, which is, 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 goes down in history as the Comely Maiden speech. But the problem with, with this thing is, see, that's a caricature. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. I thought he was Valera, quoting you, it? sorry. Yeah, but it was your book. He never, yeah, he, 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 De Valera uh, never used the word Comely. He did originally in the original draft, but he crossed it out. It was in the draft originally, whoever wrote that, but he crossed it out. But the, what I, the point I was making about this at the time was, and this is like over 20 years ago, that it was a caricature that was necessary to repudiate and disparage the past of Ireland so they could push us, bully us, into this new modern Ireland that they wanted to create. That was the point of it. And they're still doing it. And they, so therefore, it wasn't adequate. Actually, I'll read you what De Valera actually said there, because I have it close to me here. And it's very beautiful, because when you actually think about it, like when you ask yourself, what was De Valera saying? And you, you tell me when I've read this now, is there anything that you hear that's wrong in this paragraph? Because it's, I think it's a very beautiful paragraph at any time in history. That Ireland which we dreamed of would be the home of people who valued material wealth only as the basis of right living of a people who were satisfied with frugal comfort and devoted their leisure to the things of the spirit, a land whose countryside would be right with cosy homesteads, whose fields and villages would be joyous with the sounds of industry, with the romping of sturdy children, the contests of athletic youths and the laughter of happy maidens, whose firesides would be forums for the wisdoms of serene old age. It would, in a word, be the home of a people living the life that God desires that man should live. Do you lads think there's anything wrong with that? It's inspirational. Yeah. These, these, so, yeah. these, these people Indeed. have been sneering at this for the last 40 years. And they're always caricaturing it. Comely maidens dancing to crosses. He didn't use the word comely. He didn't talk about dancing. And he didn't mention crossroads. That's the paragraph that they're always talking about. And they always say, oh, comely maidens dancing at the cross. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we're so fucking witty. Yeah, it is. It's, so it's that typical, witty. like, smart arse kind of glib commentary that you yeah. get, like, on somebody's cunts on television, basically. This like, is you know. not the shite that we pay our judges to fucking do. It's outrageous. No. Outrageous yeah. that he, he, this, I'll tell you what this is, lads. This is hate And the speech. money he got. This is hate speech. It's self-hate speech. It's hatred of Ireland. It's disparagement of Ireland as it was and is. It's an outrage. Yeah, it is. I'm asking old Ireland. But but the point is again that people just let this stuff go. And and the next thing it it comes, people are afraid to say, "Oh, well, we better not say that. We better get that comely (laughs) maiden." You know, dance. Oh, you want us all dancing at the crossroads, do you? You know, it's such a beautiful passage as well the whole thing is, is apart from the part at the start where he says we would be into materialism the rest of it is just lovely it's an inspiration it, it's like i'm missing here in that where are our leaders these days that say things like that that inspire the people they're gone we don't have that anymore and all they can do is jeer at when, yeah. we, when we did have that no, yeah it, and also, also you know they're the same people who go on about uh, climate change and global warming and all this stuff well De Valera was saying long before their time he was saying the things that we will need to take on board if the climate change thing turns out to be as bad as they're telling us. Because frugal comfort is all we will be able to, to manage. Yeah. Things of the spirit will have to make a comeback. Yeah. You know? Uh, but unfortunately, the way we're going, by the time that comes, our country will be destroyed in all kinds of other ways. Thanks to these guys, the same people. Uh, it's extraordinary to me that that case, you know, 